Okay, part three now wants us to calculate the regression line uh, of y on x. So in order to do that, we need two things. We need the regression line is equal to a value called a plus b times x. So we need to calculate this a and b value. The first one I always calculate is, well, we have to calculate b first. And that's for sx, for y on x, that's s xy over sxx. So in our case, that's going to be 4 over 28, which is nice. Nice and easy uh, fraction to work out. That's a seventh. So you may as well leave that as a seventh rather than having to write it down as a decimal because that keeps it more accurate. A is equal to y bar minus bx bar, where y bar and x bar represent the mean um, x value and the mean y value. So x bar is going to be equal to all the x's added up, which is 56, divided by 7, which is 8. And y bar is going to equal 935.2 divided by 7, which is 133.6. So then A is 133.6 minus a seventh times by 8. So 133.6 minus 8 over 7, which is 132, point, 132 to 3 significant figures. I'm just going to save that number into the memory of my calculator in case I need to use it later. So I'm going to press ANTS STO A and I'm going to pop that into memory A of my calculator. If you're not sure how to save numbers into the memory of a Casio calculator, I've uh, done a video on it so you can look up that video. It's really useful uh, for lots of different uh, stats questions. So finally, we're just left to write down the actual regression line in the form that we wrote, we wrote it down up here. So that's going to be 132 plus b, which was a seventh x. So 132 plus a seventh of x.